Time now for John Clark and Brian Dorr at the Doctors. Thanks for joining us. Well, good evening. It's very good to be here. You're a doctor, yes? I am. I'm not sure I'll have necessarily the specialist expertise in the area you're concerned about. Oh, no, no, no. But it's, it's okay. A it's a general question. question. Is it? Yes, okay. It is. Well, yeah. we can have a swing at that. Yeah. Can you actually get physically sick uh, of reading about the flu virus? Well, let's have a look at the symptoms. You're obviously feeling unwell. Are you a bit off colour? Yes, I am. I am. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. how long has this been the case? Do you uh, about a week and a half ago now, I suppose. Uh, about 10 days. Yes, that's yeah. about the right incubation period. Yeah. Yeah. Any headaches? Oh, yeah. Yeah, bad headaches. Yeah. yeah. Any aches and pains? Uh, some muscle weakness, and it's sort of um, a physical feeling. Inside. Yes, well, these are definitely reading about flu-like symptoms. Listlessness. A big pardon? I was listless. No, I didn't say anything. No, no, no. I mean, I, I didn't have any energy. Yes, OK. Any eye strain? Oh, yeah, I couldn't read. Eye strain. Oh, Occasion to reading. What were you trying to read? What well, were you reading about? Oh, it was all about the flu virus. Yes, okay. And where were you reading all this stuff? Well, everywhere. It was in the papers, it was online, you know, yeah. everywhere. Which would make you anxious and make you very concerned, very worried. Oh, doctor, I was terrified. Yes. I mean, I, oh, I couldn't think of anything else. Yes, you know? so, indeed. In fact, you're inclined to focus, aren't you, on just the one issue. I you become out... monomaniacal. A big pardon? You become monomaniacal. You I focus actually just... went out and bought a mask. Yes. Can I ask you a rather personal question? Yeah. Did you at any stage hear voices telling you about I the did. flu? I did, on radio and television. Voices yes. talking about the flu virus oh, yes. all the well, time. I what you're describing is a kind of sensory bombardment. That's what it, it is, yes. a sensory bombardment. Yes. That's the words. Yes, which That's would the make words. you feel more worried and more concerned terrified, and more anxious. Doctor, yes. Terrified, Yes. No, well, this is perfectly... I natural, mean, completely Roger. terrified. Did you feel powerless? Oh, unbelievably so. I mean, we were going to be murdered in our beds. Yes. But it's going to be a pandemic. Yes, I understand completely. Can I ask what it was uh, that you were frightened of? Swine flu. The swine flu. And the swine flu. And where was the swine flu? In Mexico. And were you in Mexico? No. No. Where were you? I was in Northcote. In Northcote, yes. And how are you feeling now? Uh, funny, a, a bit better today. Well, I think that keep taking the tabloids and see yeah. the nurse. We might get you off the broadsheets oh, and maybe spend a little bit less time in front yep. of the screen. How are you walking? Can you walk? Oh, fine, I can walk. I yeah, go for fine. a walk every day. Yeah, do you have a mask? No, we bulk bill. Oh, that's good. Mm. See the nurse. Thanks. <laughs>